man. You didn't like when you heard this at the beginning of the day. You're probably sitting in the office, checking your feed, going, what's going on? I'm sure Michael, Don, and Peter will figure this out. Well, it seems that Garrett Cole, when he was throwing on the side, he felt a soreness in his elbow that felt like it felt after his 100th pitch when he's pitching in a game. And that's throwing full efficacy over 100 pitches. And he was feeling like that after side session. So the Yankees sent him for an MRI. We probably don't find out what the MRI says until probably Wednesday. I'd be surprised if we do find out tomorrow. And then Aaron Judge, yesterday when all the regulars took three at-bats, he took two. He said nothing to be alarmed about. Boone suggested it to him. And then Boone said today, they had a split squad game. Boone was actually with the team in Clearwater. Um, Brad Ausmus, um, he managed the team in Tampa. That was the game that was on yes. The Yankees beat the Orioles 5-3. Um, Boone said, middle of spring training, soreness. But he didn't take BP today at either of the sites. Not going to play tomorrow. And he is going to be back in the lineup, they say, on Wednesday. That gives me some pause, too. But is it? Uh, an issue, or is this kind of the way they're going to treat Judge during the length of his contract? I don't know. He's not going to play every day. They don't want to play him 162 games, so they they're going to they're going to watch him like a hawk because he's just too important. So it makes kind of sense that there's going to be times where there's just going to be maintenance days for him. Yeah, well, how but, many games do you think he's going to play this year? I, I think you'd want him to play 150. All right. And that means 12 games he's going to miss for just the fact he's going to rest. And not all of them are going to be day games after night games. But, but yeah, I wonder if you know, Juan Soto's a 162-game guy. He played 162 yeah, he, games last year. He's also younger. Mm-hmm. Hasn't had the injuries the judge has had. Um, and let's be honest, Michael, you can ring Soto out because you're not guaranteed to bring him back. Judge is somebody you've invested a ton of money and years to. They want to make sure that he's going to be around for as long as possible. So I think these are just kind of maintenance handling, not a China doll, but realizing that you cannot ring him out. He just he's too important to the team. Now, now one thing I would say, and I, I say this as Peter would say, with all oh, due oh, respect, all due respect, what are I, with all due respect? So. I, I can't believe anybody when it comes to injuries. And you know I like Aaron Boone. Happy birthday to him. His birthday was Saturday. 51. But I look at this and I go, uh, oh, okay, just spring training. Uh, I don't believe anything that anyone said. They, they don't have to tell us anything. These games don't count yet. It's not like they're beholden to betters or anything like that. We'll find out when we find out. We have no idea about Cole. We have no idea what he's really feeling. We have no idea about Judge. We have no idea what he's really feeling. They're going to they're going to tell you what they want to tell you, because whatever may happen, they've got to make moves to counteract that. If God forbid something is really wrong, Oswaldo Para, Oswald Peraza, oh, yeah, he, he, a little soreness thrown across the line, he'll be okay. He can't throw a baseball for six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks after they did a dye contrast uh, X-ray. So it is what it is. We could sit back and. Yeah, and guess and listen. If you want to guess bad, things would not be good without Garrett Cole this year. They'd be awful. They'd be awful because the rest of their pitching staff question marks. Rodon's a question mark coming off last year. Cortez is a question mark coming off last year. Um, Clark Schmidt, I don't think he's a question mark, but you know, last year he was a 500 pitcher. How's he going to be this year? And then Marcus Stroman might be your your surest thing. Might that's, be the surest thing. That's uh, Michael. That's a problem. It, it is a problem. If, if 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 Cole is really hurt, then Rodon has to step up to the guy that he was with San Francisco and the last year in Chicago. If he doesn't, they're not making the playoffs unless they make some drastic deal and they decide, you know what, we are gonna, you know, we've we've got to go all in because this is the year we have Soto and we've got to go all in. So we're gonna sign this guy or trade this guy to get that guy. They might be in an, an aura of desperation. They just might. But the thing that worries me the most is Cole. I, I, I think that I think that judge, maybe Don's right, is going to be managed very, very carefully all year. Because they said, the, the, the surprise from spring training to me was when they said, you know, the, the toe problem is something that judge has got to deal with the rest of his career. That's a little scary. Mm-hmm. So they're dealing with that. You're dealing with the guys getting older. He's so important to the team. So they're not going to run him into the ground. We'll see. We'll see if what they're saying is, in fact, true if he plays on Wednesday. So that's the target date to really judge. And the first thing we hear about Cole, that's going to be either 
tomorrow or Wednesday. And I'll tell you what, even if everything's okay, you would think that there's going to be some rest in order, Don. I don't think that Garrett Cole is going to start the opener on March 28th in like Houston. It. Just If he does, it'll be a pleasant surprise. But they're in a lot of trouble if he's really hurt. A lot. Well, if you found out that he, God forbid, had to have Tommy John, that, that just changes everything. And everything. Even if you were to get Snell, which you still could, Snell wouldn't be ready for opening day. And then you run the risk of would Shell would, would Snell trying to get ready end up injuring himself. And even if he ends up being ready and able, he's not Garrett Cole. He's not. He's a very good pitcher, but we've seen what happens when he comes off of Cy Young's and he doesn't give you the innings, Cole. He's not the beast that Cole is. And that's no disrespect to Snell. Cole is a special pitcher. He's one of the top probably three pitchers, if not the best pitcher in baseball. You don't replace that. But we're putting the cart before the horse. He hasn't even had the MRI yet. We haven't had the results. But <sighs> I can oh understand a Yankee fan right now, like, worried that Tommy John's name is going to come up. And if it does, it changes everything. <sighs> All right, let's go to the phones. A lot of